Hi. 2nd of July 2019. I've just arrived on the allotment. Flocks of birds fly up whenever I arrive. They're on all the allotments. There's flocks of pigeons, flocks of sparrows, flocks of starlings. Didn't see any seagulls, but there are lots of those round about sunset, so they're about anyway. And I found some dying plants chucked on my allotment, and I think a neighbour must have left them. So here they are. This looks like it was a tomato. It's It's got tomato flowers. But I don't think it's going to grow now. It must have been here 24 hours with its root ball all exposed. But next to it, there's a couple of pepper plants. And they're a bit droopy, but not too bad. So I'm going to soak them and plant them and they may well grow. I've got some space here where the pigeons ravaged the brassica I planted. Maybe the peppers will have better luck. There they are having a good soak in the pea jug. The tomatoes sadly are going on the compost. I really can't see they're going to revive now. But look what's doing really well is the Styrian pumpkin, which I planted in its little plastic slug repelling sleeve there. And it's grown and grown and grown. And it's got little pumpkins starting. The other one is also doing well in the foreground and in the middle the cucumber which was very small and sad is also beginning to put out shoots. So that's a good sign although it's nothing like the cucumber in the conservatory which already has baby cucumbers swelling up. Down at the bottom of the compost heap there's a self-seeded tomato plant which looks in rather better shape than the one I found lying in the heap and I'm going to leave that and see what comes of it and next to it is a self-seeded squash which I shall also leave. It can ramble up the compost heap as it wishes. Over here, I'll just turn around and get my shadow out of the way. This is the bed that had the early potatoes. I took them out and planted my leeks, which had been in their little pot for far too long and they were not looking happy anymore, so they had to go out, even though the ground is full of this bark. I'll be very interested to see how they grow. Some of the sweet corn stems are really thickening out and even the little tiny one which wasn't visible under the straw is beginning to grow a bit. I don't know why some of them are not as strong growers as others but if and if it doesn't come to anything I've got enough. The green gooseberries I've had quite a lot already. I've made a crumble and a pie. There's a few left. The red ones I think are still ripening up. This pea stand is beginning to look quite respectable. It's got away from the pigeons. The climbing peas got a way to go yet. But they are producing pea pods already. The other peas, they look terribly weedy, don't they? I've had quite a respectable amount of peas off them. But I think this is where the pigeon comes pecking away every day. So I haven't really been able to take any pea shoots for salads the way people say you can because the pigeons had all the salads. And the pods are quite small and the peas are small. But they're perfectly acceptable. The left side is lusher. I think perhaps the pigeons find it more difficult to get around this side because of the things growing in the way. And the runner beans are finally running up their poles. I've done some watering, but the pressure's so low as to be almost non-existent. The problem is there are far too many people all watering off the same pipe. So I'll probably have to come back at midnight or sometime when nobody else is using the water. I don't think everything needs watering yet. We had some quite heavy rain a week or two ago. I need to keep my seed bed watered. That's where I gave up because the pressure just dropped too low. Um, this is my other bed of leeks planted in the mushroom compost and a couple of rows of carrots and beetroots. If you leave the carrots too long to dry out then when it rains they burst so they have to be kept moist and the leeks are quite young. And the other thing I want to keep moist is my cauliflower bed. This is a very interesting bed because 
I've managed to achieve different stages of maturity, more by accident than anything. Those are the ones I planted in the autumn. Some of them have already flowered. I've taken that flower, the one next to it. And the other thing is they're absolutely huge. We're still struggling through the first one, planting it. This one is smaller and it's almost past it. It's starting to grow out. But over there are the two new ones that I planted that the, the bird came by and picked them almost down to the ground, but they're actually coming back. And those were also planted at the same time, but the bird didn't get as far as pecking them, so they're a bit further on. That's the achocha, the exploding cucumber. There they are. This is absolutely huge. You can see how big it is with my hand next to it. I wonder if you can freeze cauliflower, because we've still got three quarters of one the same size in the fridge at home to use up. I decided to pull up the onions, the Stuttgarter giants. It's going to be sunny for the next week or so. And they have filled out a bit and they are beginning to go mouldy. There they are. This is my little group of rotting ones. You see the mould around the roots in those. I hope the majority of them will store reasonably well for a month or two. Obviously we'll have to eat the mouldy ones first because they're not going to keep it all, they'll just begin to rot. I'm certainly not going to waste them, i just cut out the mouldy bits. And this is my harvest for today. The giant cauliflower, two handfuls of peas and quite a lot of broad beans as well. I'm going to make a pea, bean and beetroot salad. So here's my salad, just cooked and steaming. I'm going to let it cool and add some kind of dressing. Look, plastic. We stopped at a motorway service station for some fish and chips and those were dumped on our plates. I can understand that it's more convenient for them, but we didn't even ask for them. So I brought them home and I'm going to put them in my salad. Here's a single use bag I used earlier. I'm turning it into a reused bag to freeze my giant cauliflower. See you later.